reporting live from the West Coast. If you want the smoke, you bet not choke. It's your man, Game Boy 310. Stay tuned, TV. You hear me? Okay, then. Gang, gang. Talk to me. It's time. It's time, man. We about to check out the album. Right Place, Wrong Person, RM, Big Bro. We done checked out four songs already via visuals. And it's time to check out the project from top to bottom, man. It's been a little, uh, a little bit of a hectic week. I'm kind of working against time right now. I literally got to get out of here in like the next maybe 30 minutes or so. So I don't know. We might have to switch this. Uh, we might have to put this in two parts. Part one and part two, which is fine. It's fine. Um, it won't be far in between. I promise you that. Sorry for the wait. Sorry for the wait, but it's been a little bit of a crazy week. So to keep it real with you, man, what introduction? There is no introductory shit going on today. This is RM, right place, wrong person. We've been talking about it. We've been saying we was going to do it, and now we're here. Yes, I'm late. I'm late. All right, so shut up. Right place, wrong person, man. RM, you know where you at? Stay tuned, TV. It's your man, Game Boy 310. You hear me? Press the button, yo. You hear me? Uh, uh, you know the album is called Right Place Wrong Person But on this specific song He's switching it To Right People Wrong Place Man That kind of give you An insight of like How he thinks Like it's the same idea But it does give it Like a different meaning But it's the same idea He just kind of like He mirrored it In a sense You know what I'm saying Right Place Wrong Person But the song is titled Right People Wrong Place Which it has the same concept But it's just worded differently Which is Which is dope I was about to say when it first started like oh no live drums on this one because all the songs i heard been having live drums on it then the live drums came in towards the middle so that's dope that's dope switch it up this is definitely giving um oh and that reminds me i seen a video floating around on youtube that he did an interview with pharrell which makes fucking sense man damn that unlocks the fucking it makes so much sense that he sat down with pharrell because he always gives me like a Pharrell kind of sound in a sense. Neptune's period. If this track right here don't give you a Neptune's feel, Neptune's presents the clones or just Neptune's in general, the real abstract, you know, kind of universal sound, not universal, but just kind of spacey, almost like extraterrestrial kind of sound. <laughs> That's a Pharrell stamp or Neptune stamp all across the board. So it makes perfect sense. He sat down with him, man. Like, I, and I'm, I'm gonna check that shit out too. I didn't watch it, but I think I'm gonna just check it out on Stay Tuned because I'm curious to know what they was talking about because it makes sense that they sat down and whatever they were talking about because they sounds kind of aligned sometimes a lot of in a lot of times. But okay, 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 okay. Boy going off. Boy going off in the background. Playing with that baritone on y'all, man. <laughs> he playing with that baritone on y'all. I like the fucking beat selections uh, of all the ones I heard so far, including this one, man. It's real abstract and kind of left field. But I, 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 like I said, I like weird shit, man. And like the, the you know, the, the, the drums crashing in and the, the choice in instruments, man. Like it just, it kind of sets the table. It's, it's kind of like opening your mind. It sound like a portal is opening. Sound like a whole wormhole or portal is opening right now, almost like he's setting the table, setting the tone for the whole album. Feeling high on a forest fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did that intentionally <laughs> to drive y'all crazy. High on a forest fire. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
And you know, I'm using I'm using this I'm using this channel. I hope you know, because from what I hear, it's like he's 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 he, most of his lyrics is in uh, English, right? But I'm just I just I just got it here as a safety net. The captions. Because I want to catch every single thing that's being said, but I hope this person got the shit right. You know what I mean? Like I, ho I hope the lyrics are on point. Yeah, I hope this person got the lyrics 100% uh, accurate. But we're gonna find out. All right, so what's next, man? Let's go. Let's go. All right, no, nah, you know that was that was uh that was actually a, a actual intro. You know what I'm saying? A lot of albums they have us just a song as an intro, but that sound like a real like. Introduction to like a different realm Or a different dimension Like I said it sounds like a, a portal is opening but It's like we're entering into like a different dimension Smart choice and in instruments to kind of give you that feel as well So That to me was the, And I don't give a fuck That gave me total Neptune's vibes And feel All the way around You know it's in the real spaced out sounds The live drums You know Neptune's they love uh, like They're a band They love live drums they, they, They're a band actually So I mean you know N.E.R.D. But it sounded total Neptune's influence, and you, I'm biased, man. You're going to win me over with any kind of Neptune's drums or spacey sounds and things like that, man. And, it, and it's tapping back into, like, that late 90s, early 2000s Neptune sound as well. Like, I'm biased, man. You're going to always win me over with that shit. So that was dope, though. I mean, just simple. Introduction. <laughs> you playing with that baritone, man? You gotta use it, man. You gotta use it, goddamn it. That's what's there for. All right, what's up next? Nuts. I mean, why the fuck not? We've heard it. I've heard it, but so damn what. And then now, just listening to the song without the video, I could just focus. Oh. Oh, see, this is why I'm listening to the album because on the video he using that he using that lower octave on the all right all right part. Now here on the album, it's more of like a a higher tone. See, that be the thing with music videos and albums, though. A lot of even performances. A lot of times they'll switch it up just to give you, I guess, some kind of just variety or whatever the case. They like to switch it up on the videos or the performances just to make you know just to give it some variety. I wouldn't have known that checking out just the video. He went with a higher octave on this part. Okay, bro. Okay. Okay, then. I could make it right. She a pro rider. Rider. Must be an A1 gotta always throw. Even the who who sounded different. Okay, everything sounded different, man. Even the who 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 sounded a little higher than the video. Man, what the fuck? Let's go. And anyone gotta always throw a fucking slider when it comes to love. She could be an all nighter. Last yeah, slider, no one man could ever fight her. What the fuck you doing, man? Okay, so <laughs> on the video on the video he didn't say all nighter, man. Okay, maybe it had to be uh maybe it had to be edited or whatever the case. But right here he is actually saying all nighter. You gotta ch okay yeah see okay because you know what I was gonna do I was gonna ch I was like man you know they got videos when I run back through I'm just gonna check out the video again but no you gotta check out the album because it's different from the video okay brother freaky you freaking me bagging you baby please got some casualty love I keep stopping I know shut up but the cadence was different on that part right there my being sp too specific Point out the little intricate parts. Yes, I am. Because I hear the fucking difference. Freaking you freak. See, on the video, he was like, freaking you freaking me. But here he's saying, freaking you freaking me. What the fuck? You know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Don't make me look stupid, man. Freaking you freaking me. Wishing you in the grief. It's different. It's different. It's different. Don't have me looking crazy up in this bitch. It's different. Okay? It's different, man. Cadences. There's certain words that he's saying differently. There's certain words that are different. Love is for the free. I could make this right place for you. I could make it. I could make this right place for you. I could make you right. Let's go. Now baby. I'm the bitch. 
touch me once I'm chilled up and quandry There's a stigma on my chest, it's called you I'm here to go to try me, kids are lying, it was a flu <laughs> Going crazy on the beat Okay Yeah, 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 I had to check out the album, man Because checking out just the video it's different, man. It was different cadences. It's, it's slight though. It wasn't. It wasn't like heavy differences. But like listening to the song enough, I can point. My ears are pointing out like, hey, that was different from the video. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad I'm actually checking out just the song and not the videos this time around. Cause that's what I was gonna do. It's like shit. Might as well just check out the video again if we're gonna listen to it. But okay, okay. I'm glad I didn't do that. All right. Ah, uh, let me see. Out of love. Let's go. Like I said, I hope these lyrics are accurate, man. I'm just a pack of a cigarette I'ma burn down the love and the hate The right, the wrong Think I already killed myself out of the fucking fizz Smoke, drink, people I know they stink God, I'm gonna suck We going back We going back Cause, oh, hold, okay, yeah I'ma dissect these lyrics cause, but, but off tops, what caught my attention is this beat The heavy kick With that bass, that real synth Synthesized bass is meaty. <clears throat> real, real. I, you know, and that's why I'm saying that interview that I saw, I didn't see it, but I saw that there's an interview out there with him and Pharrell. I highly anticipate watching that because I know, like myself, he got to be heavily influenced by Pharrell, man, because these beat selections are really giving me Neptunes, bro. Like it really is. And they always had a heavy kick and like synthesized bass. And ah oh man, I, I, this beat is hard to me. I like this beat right here. That weird shit, man. Ashes fall like the snow. I've been changing all the flow. Time to let go the past, the memories, the stacks of the truth. Diaries with the one manhajiyama. Sat on the manhajiyama. Somebody. It almost like he picking up off what what man he is <laughs> again it's poetically put I know I, I know you probably can't take this too literal talking about you know I'm a pack of cigarettes and shit I know it's metaphorical it gotta be using analogies and shit but it still sounds like he picking up from where nuts left off at in a sense. Diaries without priories Think I already killed myself Out of the fucking fizz Smoke drink <laughs> Ad libs Let's Think go I The memories The stacks of the truth Diaries without <laughs> priories Think I already killed myself Out of the fucking fizz No matter EJ I died to the next three It's my mess It's my mess Is that what it is? It's my mess It is stink He is. He, he, he. <laughs> I don't. I don't, man. I got pieces of it, you know. And that's that's the thing for me, man. Like checking out an album, a body of work. I feel like it all ties into each other in a way that you probably. I'm not gonna catch this right off the jump, right off the bat. But I, I there's something being said here, man. That you got. You got to just. You know, are you starting back? It's like, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll do it on my own time. But like, you gotta listen to this shit more than just once to really take in the 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 the, the concept, the message behind it. But just sonically, how it sounds. Like, I'm I'm so far, I'm digging these beats. Number one was real abstract, gave me the real space odyssey kind of sound. Dope, heavily Neptune's influence. We already know I love nuts. It was funky as fuck to me. And then this one right here with just the heavy drums, the kind of kind of mosh pit. Mob, like a mob just mobbing like like a monster dragging his knuckles on the ground kind of walk like in you know in them cartoons just like real like here come the monster that's what this beat sounded like to me with just the heavy kick and like the heavy synth synthesized bass okay and it just it kind of 
brought a character out of, out in his voice. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, the beat was just so like almost like it, it, it was almost like ready for a lazy flow or like just that kind of like what he gave. Like his voice, he was switching it up here and there, and like he was even down to the alley. Like it, I, it it brings that out of you. You know what I'm saying? The instruments will speak to you, man. Like and that's why it's important to uh, pick out such um, the, the type of beats that are like. That kind of line up with your character, your personality, because it's going to help draw it out of you or whatever you're going for on your album. The beat selection is very important because it's going to help bring that characteristic out of you during the song, how you deliver it. But these lyrics are crazy, man. Like, but still, even with this, even with this, it's like he's talking to people about like, just don't try to sway me. It's my it's my dirty ass dish. It's my dirty ass sink full of this shit. <laughs> I know it stink. I know it do. But so fucking what, man? Like this is my sink. Don't try to flip my script. Like I don't know, bro. What the fuck is going on? Because a lot a lot of these songs, not not I'm only three songs in, but I mean his songs. Period. It's always about shut the fuck up. Let me do me. I know, I know what I'm dealing with. I'm right, I'm looking at it. I'm right here looking at it. I know what I'm dealing with. But like, motherfucker, shut up and let me deal with it. Let me keep going, man. Like I said, I'm crunching time. I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up. Let me just go to the next one. I like that one. I, I like Out of Love. I like Out of Love. The dope, the, I feel like there's something being said that I'm going to catch later, but the beat is very dope. The beat is very dope. Yo, my dad, you. Look at those sins. Y'all some not true shit. All suckers wanna get it. Take a sip, cause Johnny Bull mod up shit. All the suckers wanna hit it. I'ma lead you to the heaven group the big hey. I don't know what the fuck. I just know Doma <laughs> And that's not, I'm not, of course, I'm not, I wouldn't dare make fun of nobody's language, but I don't know what, he, I don't know the language, so I just got to kind of hum and. <laughs> 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 Take control, all my friends crying in the road. You won't get That's my dog, that's my homie. Even I know all you phony. I set the tone, listen up close. So you know my name, but you just don't know me. I'm the one that you wanna know. Let me to say that last time, too. It's very dope. Look at that. 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 Look and I'm going to tap into your culture, even if it's just for a bar. <laughs> she did that, though. She did that. Fuck. Even I know all you phony. I set the tone. Listen up closely. You know my name, but you do not know me. I got got my bros. He's back to the end. Okay, but we already know what Dumbadachi is about. That's that shit, man. I fuck with Dumbadachi. I fuck with Lil Sims, man. That was a dope collab. Yeah, I mean, Dumbadachi is dope. I done, I done played that shit several, several times. <laughs> Man, this, if this ain't goddamn Pharrell in common, like some dining room ass music, man, <laughs> champagne flutes, <laughs> these beats are dope. These beats are dope, man. I even like how that came in all. Oh. Yo, who is doing these beats, bro? I'm going to Google it. It's only a Google, it's a Googleable thing. I could just Google it, but yo, who the fuck are doing these beats? Uh, jazz fusion, hip hop jazz fusion. It would have been better if I didn't know you. Is every feeling not to feel the soul? Oh, it is 
the interlude. You know what? I don't mind it at all. Nah, that, that was giving me what I need right there, man. I like that shit. That is put so dopely. <laughs> Make my own word up. I hope you remember me, the best grave in your cemetery. That's dope as fuck. Because you know what I mean? Anything in your past is considered dead, right? But <laughs> the best grave in your cemetery. I'm using that. I'm using that shit. I'm using that shit. That is dope. I like the way you put that shit. I'm using that. <laughs> Let's go, big bro. Sorry, feeling not to feel so troll. Hey. Even the choice in instruments almost fucked my mouth up. Even the choice in instruments they be using for these songs. See, this whole this whole album does have a it's, it has a concept, yes, with the lyrics. But even the the uh, which I already knew they're using live drums. I I got that from the four songs I heard. But it has a concept. With the instrumentals, man, like it's like they stand right here, but it's all still like different in its own way. It's drawn from different fields, but it's stand right here conceptually with the with the instruments, with the beats in general. Like they're different. None of them sound the same, really. Nah, fuck, really. None of them really sound the same. But still, it stand right here with it. It gives you that warm feel, and it's just coming from different angles. This is dope. Uh, Out of love, and this one right here is like. Yo, what the fuck? It's dining room music, you know what I'm saying? Chandeliers and champagne flutes. Ooh, ooh, the beat, it, the bass. Ooh. It would have been better if I didn't know you. Okay, stop, stop, stop it, just fucking stop, you see, all right, okay, <laughs> you, you, maybe you got to be a producer to understand, man, they are going ham with the production, man, <sighs> the switch up on this is, you showing the fuck off, bro, that's all y'all doing, you're just showing off, man, is it P-Dog? Y'all showing the fuck off, man. That's all you're doing. You hear that? You hear it? Do you... Okay. Okay. Give me a second, man. Let me respond to this text. They showing the fuck off, though. That's all. That's what he's doing. <laughs> That's all he's doing, man. Like, listen. I don't mean to, you know, I don't mean to keep pausing. <laughs> but this beat right now is giving me what I need, man. Like, you got to understand, man. Like, it's programmed, yes, but it sounds like they're just on stage just freestyling this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's so fucking off. It's off the wall. Like, it's not traditionally. Fuck the band. This beat is ridiculous. The switch up is crazy. I don't mind it at all. It took me a minute to catch what the beat was trying to do, but that's what I learned. That's what I'm telling you. Like, those are those weird beats that at first it's like, what is it doing? But then when you catch it, it's like, pew, like okay. And then how you ride the shit. But right now, it's like he's just kind of talking over. Y'all showing the fuck off is what it is. This is poetry night at the nightclub, man. <laughs> Yo, I'm highly impressed with the production right now, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, yes, 
Yes. Yes. This is what I, yo, what, when, when, you know, <clears throat> okay, when I'm checking out an album, bro, I be hoping for this kind of shit, man. For one, what always stands out to me is the beats, production. Because when I, you know, when I first fell in love with music, man, I had to be like, what, four years old? I don't know. But like, the beat is always what's been important to me first. But then what you layering it, what you layering it with, what you putting on top of it, what you the lyrics, the topping on the pizza. This is taking me back to when, like, I used to sit by the radio, man, and just wait for dope beats. Because you're young then, man. You really don't know what the fuck anybody's talking about, really. You know what I'm saying? Like, it comes later because it's catchy and the words just kind of, you know, subconsciously, you, you soak in the words and you learn it. But initially, what always drove me, what, what, what always drew me to any song is the beats, the instrumentation, the melodies, the drums especially, like... This is taking me back to when I was fucking five or six, sitting in front of the radio, recording shit off the radio on cassette. Yes, motherfuckers, cassette. And like I was just looking for dope beats. This is giving me that just real poetry night at the nightclub type shit, man. They just kind of showing up. And the switch up, it's like three, four different switch ups on this. And it's a fucking interlude. It's an interlude. One more time, man. One more time. One more time. Don't go back. This I know. Yes, DP, you're stuck on the interlude. Yes, bro. Yes, I am, man. Because what the fuck is this, man? <laughs> hey, for real, what you think? <laughs> Skateboard P, what do you think? Because I know you, fool. I know you. This is right up your alley, man. You can't tell me it's not. This is right up your alley, man. Ah, the interlude. All right, let's go. <laughs> Yo, 세상에 재수 없는 세계가 많아. 어쩌라고 뭐 가도 길이나 가라. 세상엔 알수 없는 세계가 많아. 살만 하니 뭔 책임을 떠나 없네. 내가 뭘 대표해? 나는 나만 대표해. 화병 나서 that line right there. Speaks to that What I was just asking In another video man I'm not finna give it no light But yo I'm not a fucking diplomat What do I represent? Only myself Come on Did I not catch that last time? I'm always a breadwinner for a guy I don't know. <laughs> Did I not catch that last time? I'm always a breadwinner for a guy I don't know. Did I not catch I'll set you free. Can tell me nothing, not so far. What if you just come? Get your ass out of trunk. Get your ass out of trunk. Yo, get your ass out of trunk. You walk like a dog. Bitch. Yeah. I did last time. I think this song is alright. It's cool. I'm, I'm, I like more so the message behind it than I do like the sound of it. I mean, the sound of it is fine. It's fine. It's not like it's garbage, but it's just not one of my favorites. But I like what he, I like the message in it though. Like I like the message in it better than the actual song. There you go. I knew it. Yeah. Right. Okay, my fault, y'all. I probably, I probably, I gotta wrap this shit up. I probably could have got through the whole damn thing if I didn't keep rewinding it. But I was saying, like, I uh, with this song in particular, like, the sound of it is all right. I give it like a five, but I like the message in the song more than the song. So it's still, yeah, it's important for me to still listen to it because I like what's being said. Yo, since I'm in the second gamana, up, I fuck it up. It's hard to do that, bro. It's hard to do that. Cause they gonna they gonna spread hate. 
They gonna let you know they hate you. But it ain't it fucked up how people will more so let you know, like whether it's comments, YouTube, whatever it is, on the radio, you know what I'm saying? The correspondence, magazines. It's easy to let them know they don't fuck with you. <laughs> it's easy for them to let you know how much you suck or how much like you. It's easy for them to discredit you. But to give you credit and to actually give you props where it's due and to shine some positivity on what your art is, it's like it's hard to find that shit, though. But it's so easy for them to, like, spread that hate. But it's not easy to suck it up, though, bro. I, I commend you for that. You know what I'm saying? And I think that takes practice. That ain't something. Either you born with that or you learn it. Even if you're born with it, it ain't always to just it ain't always easy to just suck it up. Like that's some shit you gotta just practice to be unbothered, man. But it's not easy. Just the same version as the video? Maybe I'm tripping. I don't remember this being said in the video. I might be bugging. Maybe I'm bugging. Yo, okay. Yeah, like I said, Gron was, you know, Gron was cool, but I like the message in it, though. I, 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 I kind of, I mean, I hate to do this, man, but I got to get pushing because they, they on my head. They on my head. I got to get, I got to get going. But so we're going to pick this back up, man. But so far, so far, man, I'm fucking with all of them. I'm fucking with all of them. Let me see. Right people, wrong place was kind of like just setting the table. But what's wild is like right people, wrong place sounds so different from any of them to me, really. But it was just kind of like, the, and it sounded like a real just introduction, like a real intro, a, a portal being opened, if, if you will, into a, a, to another dimension. And maybe that's what it was supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? It was just kind of opening the portal to this, the rest of the, the album and how it sounds. Because, boom, Nuts, I love Nuts. You know what I'm saying? When I, when I seen the video, I love Nuts. I love the sound of it. I love how it, he went to three different sounds within one song, within a three-minute and 15-second period. Dope. Live drums, funky bass, boom. Out of love, like I said, that heavy kick and synthesized bass, it just gave me real like late 90s, early 2000s, NERD, Neptune sound. And I'm biased. Like Pharrell is my favorite producer. He, the boy can't miss to me. And it just, he just, they just kind of inherited that whole sound and that whole era. And it was just very dope to me. And I feel like the the, the tempo of the beat and the choice in instruments, it kind of drew out like a character in himself, like it, it kind of made him deliver it in such a different way, like almost like it was he was playing a character. Domodachi, we know Domodachi, dope as fuck. Weird, unorthodox beat, as I described it. Um, live drums as well, sloppy drums. Lil Sims did her thing, and I didn't. I, I caught it the first time, but I didn't mention it, how she used, you know, the Korean language in the very last line, which to me showed even a bit more camaraderie with RM. I think that was very dope. It was cohesive with the whole. Uh, the whole point of the song Like collabing with my partner And we're kind of just Getting off together Domodachi very dope to me The interlude Fucking threw me for a loop And it's just an interlude I get it So he You know it wasn't really Like a whole lot of It wasn't like no rap Or anything going on But he was just kind of I guess kind of talking Talking t talking us through it Like hosting it But just Yo y'all Y'all the producers man Y'all got a hell of a squad I'm gonna have to go do my Googles To see who did what But the producer, man, on that one in particularly is like showing your shit. You showing the fuck off, bro. We get it. <laughs> ha! You're dope as shit. It was just very nightclub poetry night. Like, like let the drummer get something. Like he over there in the corner, just like, can I, can I, can I do it? Can I, can I? And they're like, hold on, bro, don't do it yet. Like, okay, okay, but can I do it though? <laughs> and he just started showing off his shit. It's very dope, man. Like light, light saxophone. <sighs> Dope. I'm definitely going back to listen to that shit because the instruments were speaking to me, man. It was speaking to me, bro. Like, you on your shit so far, bro. Okay, we made it. We made it. We made it. What? What is it? Like halfway through? What, what was that? Number six. We're going to pick it back up on Heaven and then do Lost. Oh, I'm looking forward to Lost because I seen y'all talking about that one. Heaven, Lost, Around the World in a Day. 
I've been hearing some good shit about that one too. Credit Roll is a video for that, which low key, I think I want to listen to the song and watch the video because as it seems, it's a difference between the album version and then the video version. So, but we're going to pick it back up from heaven, man, on the next video because I got to get the fuck out of here. I'm playing games actually, but uh, so far, man, I, 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 I love it. I'm impressed. I like it. I like it. I like the choice in instruments. I like the choice in beats. You know what I'm saying? Like every song is giving me a different feel, but it's still kind of cohesive with his main outlook in life, which is like, yo, let me do me. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear what you got to say about it. I don't need your influence. I don't need your advice, really. Like, look, I know what I'm dealing with. Just let me deal with it. Sound like a real Capricorn, bro. I don't know when your birthday is, but it sound like a real Capricorn, because that's how we get out. Shut up. I got it. Let me deal with it. But very dope so far, man, what I'm hearing. And uh, we're going to pick it back up uh, maybe, you know, a couple days from now. So when I get some more time, don't worry about it. It won't be too long. But uh, one through six so far, dope. Dope, man. Dope, dope, dope. Like I said, I think growing is cool. It's, it's okay. I like the message behind it more than anything. But, yo, it's 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 dope, man. I came front. I came front, man. Shout out to y'all producers, engineers, and RM. Just your way of thinking, bro. Just way from left field, but still be centered around the same type of topic, but just delivering it in different ways, man. I, I, I don't know. I, I like it. I fuck with it. But we're going to pick it back up from heaven, y'all. Just stay tuned, man. Stay tuned, TV, baby. You hear me? This is RM, big bro, right place, wrong person, man. We're going to do a part two, and just stay tuned, man. You're going to hear from me soon, y'all. You know where you at. Stay tuned, TV. It's your man, Game Boy 310. You hear me, big bro? Shout out to you, dog. Like, you got that ear, man. I, I, you have even more respect for me, man, just with this album, what I'm hearing so far. Like, you got a great ear, man, and I like your approach. It's very different. It's very uh, uh, just unafraid, man. Like, and he just takes risk. And I can appreciate the risk that you're taking. And, like, you're not missing so far to me. You're not missing, bro. And that's what's beautiful about it. Taking risks, but you don't miss. You hear me? But shut the door. Don't slam me. I'm going to see y'all in a minute. Stay tuned.